Good morning, everybody. Uh, so it's Wednesday, but we're pretending it's Tuesday, so talk Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'm at the straight road. I have Phoebe Tucker, Denver, Cody, May, Hamish, Nova, Herbie. Um, and this is going to be a quick one. It's like kind of spitting just enough rain that I, uh, I don't want to have my phone out in it too long because we know what happens with me and phones and water. So, uh, given the unseasonably warm weather, don't even think about it. May. May. Thank you. Um, given the unseasonably warm weather, I thought we'd do the uh, season change video today. So basically, we are well into mud season. Um, as you can see, some of us are dressed for it. Murphy too, because he tends to roll and it's just easier to wash shirts than it is to wash the dog. Um, and I know you might not want to hear this. I know I don't want to hear it. Phoebe, don't you dare. Now see what's happening over there. Tucker, leave the geese. Come on, Phoebes, we're going this way. I'm not going in there. It's not happening. Come on. She's like, but there's a giant puddle. It's right there. We've got some geese up in there. Um, so yeah, so I know no one wants to hear this. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to think about it, but ticks are back. <laughs> um, any temperature, I believe it's four degrees is the magic number. If it's over four degrees, though probably zero degrees because with sun or whatever, sun activated ticks. Um, but if you do have a tick prevention regime, probably a good idea to start it. Um, if you're uncertain, talk to your vet. Uh, I have already started spraying them before walks just in case um, with the spray that I use. And uh, the other one is if you're worried about your dog getting dirty, plug into these things. So I believe they're called muddy mutts. <laughs> Hamish isn't too thrilled about them. Um, but it basically just covers the underside of your dog uh, to keep the mud off. So you can see with Murphy, like he's got really short hair, so I'm not so worried about his legs. They just wipe off, but he does have a tendency to roll. Um, now he's trying to roll in the grass, but realistically speaking, he's rolling in mud. So all I do is I throw a fleecy shirt on him and call it a day because I just pitch that in the wash whenever it gets too dirty. Um, I'm like, I'll do my best to keep him out of the mud. I tend to stick here if I'm worried too, too much. Um, but as you can see, even here is pretty suspect, we'll say, because not everything's melted. And I think after Friday, given we're Looking at that big bout of rain, that should clean most of it up, but <laughs> apparently it's zoomy time. <laughs> hey, 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 thank you. I do not want to be involved in that. Several hundred pounds of dogs aimed for my niece. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just tick season and it's mud season. Other like advice I can give when it comes to keeping your house more clean. There are these uh, mats you can get to put by your back door um, or your front door or wherever. I, I'm trying to remember the name of them. They're basically like a microfiber mat. You can pick them up at like pet value and stuff. Uh, an alternative for it, and what I use, is just Ikea bath mats, the like, the microfiber ones. They end up being around $10, I think. Um, and I put them in places. Okay, Simmer. May, you know the rules. 
Thank you. Um, sorry, Ikea bath mats. I put them in like by my back door, by my front door. And even just them walking over it uh, helps. Like it soaks up a lot of moisture before they make it to the floor, which is nice. Um, and I also have a couple that I put out for the dogs to lay on. If they're really gross, I will send them to that. And again, just because it's far easier to wash a bath mat than it is uh, the dirts. You can also get, there are mitts they make that are made out of the same material. And I'm trying, like, I should have brought a piece to show you. Um, maybe I'll take a photo of it at home and I'll share it in the group. Um, but it's basically the same material, just made as a mitten. And that's what I use, like that's what we keep by the back door. Um, and it's really effective. We like it a lot. So, uh, it's, uh, uh, thank you. Not even words there. Um, maybe I'll do a tour in my local pet store and see if I can see a few things too. Another thing I discovered at a pet store, which I have added into my gear, um, is like this nozzle that you can put onto just a plain water bottle and then you squeeze the water bottle and it turns it into like sort of a shower. I haven't tried it yet. I will uh, share when I do, but I thought that was a good for like emergency situations. I'm not so sure about being able to clean your entire dog with it, but if they get into something, um, it's easy enough to do that. So those are like my seasonal, <laughs> my seasonal tips. There's not really much you can do about mud season other than grin and bear it, sadly. <laughs> um, and have infinite towels in your car, which is basically how I live my life for the next month. Uh, yeah, so ticks, mud, it's basically what we're facing in the next little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go back to normal training topics as of next week. So someone told me that they couldn't access the Talk Tuesday video from last week. I'm going to look into that. Hopefully I will have fixed it. Oh, and I have to stop here. Um, I'll check it out when I get home and I'll see if I can fix it. So, May has given me my cue. <whistles> Hope you guys are having as much fun as your dogs are. And uh, if you have any questions about this video or any other, you know what to do. Other than that, we will talk to you soon. Cheers.